What's up peeps? I'm back. This is Kimberly Purpose and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to do another um, relationships video. This time I wanted to do one about Maslow. I'm not sure if any of y'all are familiar with psychology, but I want to talk about Maslow or Maslow. I think it's Maslow, but anyway, I'm gonna pronounce it Maslow. It might be Maslow, but you know, I, I have seen her people pronounce it different ways, either Maslow or Maslow. But I'm gonna pronounce it Maslow. It's Maslow theory of hierarchy needs inside. It's a psychological theory, theory and um. I want to talk about Maslow love needs for women in relationship. I'm gonna do one for men, but in this video, I'm gonna do one for women. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Maslow. First, I'm gonna explain what Maslow is. Maslow theory of hierarchy and needs is based on it's like a pyramid of um all the needs that humans may need throughout the whole lifetime for survival um the base part is usually the largest which is the ph physiological that's dealing with the needs of um food and having something to eat you know water those are physiological needs that you need the second one is the safety being able to feel safe in your home having shelter um, being able to have a home uh, for safety needs that's number two number three is um, the feeling of belonging you know uh, feeling um, loved and belonging to someone to a group like a family um, or to a life partner and the fourth thing is self-esteem um, believing in yourself, having confidence, you know, all of those are important. And then the top one is actual, is um, self-actualization. That's the top need. Um, that's the need um, for success, um, reaching your, prime, your ultimate goals in life, such as finishing college or getting a promotion on a job. <laughs> Receiving an award, recognition for your career and your ambitions. Those are examples of self-actualization. But what I wanted to do was talk about how it applies in relationship, love, uh, relationships. So you, I already said the first two levels, which is the big, you know, the most important level for survival is the physiological, having food and, sh and, and everything and having some you know water and then the, the second was the safety then the third one is love so it's up there in the pyramids right in the middle it's flat in the middle which is um sort of very important and i think when you um it's a part of you that um human um innate is very ancient is um primal pretty much is um, innate, innate feeling that most human beings have when they select a mate, and it's very critical because it can make you or break you. With women, um, I think we look at things from a um, sort of, sort of like a different perspective. You know, I guess it goes back to somewhat of what gender roles is, um, even though some people are trying to change it up some, but traditionally and um, you know, it's always been that the man is the provide, protector and the provider, and the woman is the nurturer. So, when a woman selects a mate, she tends to look at security and stability. Whereas with men, um, they look at beauty and fertility. But we're not going to talk about the men right now. In this video, I'm going to talk about women. I'll go back and do a separate video about men and Maslow hierarchy and needs when it comes to mate selection. But women, we need uh, tend to um, gravitate towards men with stability and financial stability. Um, we look at education. We look at uh, finances. And we look at... Uh, I don't think so, society tend to make it seem like you're being a gold digger, but I don't think it's not. I think women need to look at that because men tend to 
um, want to be the head of the house and uh, make a lot of the decisions in the home. And it's very critical to get with someone who can handle it and who is has that maturity level and sta is stable enough to be able to, you know, to do it. So a woman needs to look at that. A lot of times she don't, a lot of women don't. They just settle and get someone who not doing anything out in the street, partying all the time. Um, a lot of times when you get someone that uh, is not a good solid person that has that um, stability and that you need, the maturity level, it can cause a lot of problems. And it can affect the bottom parts of that Maslow chain um, levels of hierarchy which is the physiological and the safety. If the physiological part for such as food and shelter is broken, you know, if he's not financially stable, in and out of jail, uh, won't get a job, and you know, just everything is just crumbled, he's not stable. And that messes up that basic foundation that women are looking for, because we need that, you know? Especially if we are like, Brooklyn Blue, I would say, the gatekeepers. <laughs> She's another YouTuber that I watch sometimes. Uh, we are, the women, we are the gatekeepers. I think Tanya TKO also mentions that. And a few others, um, I think Christian Lynn, Beyond Black and White, also mentions how we as women, we are sort of the gatekeepers. Um, we are the ones that bring life into this world. And when we do that, we need a partner that is stable and has the maturity level and the stability enough to handle being the father and being a husband to be the protector and the provider of the home. And so it's very critical to look at that. You know, you got to look at the stability when I mean, I'm not talking, you know, about, you know, the education. The, the finances, you know, that's very critical. And that's why a lot of women look at that. And I think men need to realize that's what women look for. And that's why, you see, I don't think women look at looks, physical attraction like men do. We look more deeper than that. And I think, yeah, we look at money. And I think sometimes we overlook it a lot. And when we do that, that's what cause a breakdown in the relationship especially when it comes to marriage so like I said um, once you the love part is right in the middle it's the part that can actually make or break you as a person and also your future you know that partner that love relationship in the middle can is what makes you have the self-esteem and the self-actualization which is at the very top of the pyramid but if you don't have that foundation at the bottom um, taken care of and then if you okay if you're a woman you build your career and got yourself together and made yourself established and then you get with a man that's homeless and that's broke he has the potential of ruining you with your finances, especially if you bring another child, a child in the situation. He's not able to get, you know, have the skills and that you need. He can bring you down and it causes your foundation to crumble. That's why it's very important to have someone who's actually at your level. They got that stabling mechanism. Instead of getting someone who's at the bottom that's struggling and ain't doing nothing, get someone who's at the same meeting of their minds. Meeting, you know, up your standards. Up your standards. Maslow hierarchy needs already shows you that. The middle, the, the love part is right in the middle. You can't get nobody who's below you, who's not, who can't, who's homeless and don't even have the physiological needs met, who don't have the safety needs met in their life, like having a home, a place to stay, a job. All those are important in order to reach the middle part of a relationship. 
You got to have balance. Got to have the balance. Then once you have that balance, you meet the right person or just even by yourself. That's why it's very important to have that for yourself. Let's say, let's switch the scenario. Let's say that you have reached all the way to the top of the pyramid of Maslow. You got the physiological needs. You got your safety needs. You got your love and your belonging needs for yourself. You love yourself. You got your family, your self-actualization, and your, your self-esteem. All that is taken care of. Now, you got yourself as a woman... You think you got all that together, but you're not married. That middle part is sort of missing, a missing piece. But then you get someone who got a lot of issues, no drama, no, no, no tell them what it is. You got balance in your life. You worked hard to get that balance. And then you get someone at, who got too many issues in and out of jail, you know, no kind of job security no kind of future not even planning or looking towards the future don't even have any of the interests or anything that you have you know you know and then you bring this person in and you know men i think it's critical for us as women to make sure you got someone like who's more stable because it can make and break a woman because men like to dominate and I hate to say this they naturally want to dominate and be in charge but it's hard for a man to dominate and be in charge and lead the right way if his foundation is crumbled so that foundation has to be built and I hope y'all are getting what I'm saying that foundation has to be built in order to either meet each other halfway at least have him meet you halfway you up here and he's still like maybe at the point of he got the physiological and the safety part done and he got the uh, love you know at least he's halfway there and then maybe y'all can come together but if you got someone who's just totally lost and not trying and just got a hot mess going on it's best to lead them along and just keep on searching stress like I said um, I think Christian mentioned this in her video. Um, toss your net even further into the sea of opportunities. A sea of opportunities for your mate. You know, open up your options and expand your horizon. You don't have to date someone who's from your neighborhood or, or just date someone because they're there. You know, open up your options. You know, look. And don't just settle, you know? And maybe he is in your neighborhood. Maybe it's not the right timing, you know? Um, just make sure it's the right person instead of jumping into a relationship because you feel you all alone. Make sure it's the right person. Make sure, look at Miles Lowe's chart. <laughs> I give you, I put a link below on Maslow's uh, hierarchy of needs. You know, you keep that in front of you. You keep on looking at it. You know, it helps you to realize what you need to do. But I can go on and on. This is, I'm just going to be the end of this video. But please like this video and thumbs up. And don't forget to, to, to subscribe. <laughs> and until next time, peace. Bye-bye. Thank you.